Are you curious about how the healthcare system works in the U.S.? In this episode, I will explain the basics of the American healthcare system. Welcome to Speak English Now podcast with your host, Georgiana, the podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi, I'm Georgiana, your English teacher. Thanks for joining me for a new episode of the Speak English Now podcast. If you want to help, please share the podcast on social media. That would mean a lot. Thanks. Before we start, visit my website, speakenglishpodcast.com, and subscribe to my free mini course. In the next five days, you will discover how to enhance your English fluency. Okay, let's start. There is not one universal system, but a range of public and private insurance options. I will lay out how these plans work so that you can gain a better understanding. And yes, contrary to what some people assume, public health care exists in the USA. There are several public systems, both federal and state. All Americans must have health insurance or face a federal offense. Therefore, everyone should be properly insured. If someone is unemployed, they may be eligible for federal or state public insurance programs to help them access the necessary health care services. Let's find out more about public health in the U.S. In 1965, the federal government created Medicare and Medicaid, which provided health coverage to the elders and the poorest segments of the population. So what are Medicare and Medicaid? Medicare is a federal health insurance program primarily available to people 65 or older and certain younger people with disabilities or people with end-stage renal disease. Medicaid, on the other hand, offers health insurance to countless Americans such as eligible low-income adults, children, pregnant women, senior citizens, and people with disabilities. States must follow federal rules while running the program, which is founded by both state and federal money. Other programs, such as the Children's Health Insurance Program, is a federal state partnership program administered by the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services. Children's Health Insurance Program provides health insurance coverage to low-income children and pregnant women who don't qualify for Medicaid but can't afford private health insurance. I hope you found this episode interesting. In the next one, I will continue talking about the healthcare in the US. Now let's continue with a point of view story. I will tell you the same story several times, and I will change the person or verb tense each time I tell the story. So stay focused on the changes. And if you want my premium courses with hours of audio designed to develop your fluency, visit my website, speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. There are several levels. Okay, let's start by listening to a story told in the present tense. 
and address to you. You're a math teacher. Being taken to the ER by your students, they assure the nurse that you're having a seizure. So the nurse looks at you and sees that you are smiling strangely and becomes concerned. While waiting to be attended to, you start to laugh uncontrollably. Your laughter is so contagious that everyone, even the nurses and doctors, start laughing. After several minutes of uncontrolled laughter, the patients in the waiting room are all in better spirits. Finally, the doctor examines you. It turns out that you can't stop laughing after seeing the amount of your first paycheck. You quickly realize that being a math teacher pays far less than you expected. This unexpected turn of events causes everyone to burst into laughter once more. Let's now listen to the same story told in the third person. A math teacher named Matt is being taken to the emergency room by his students. The students assure the nurse that the teacher is having a seizure. The nurse looks at Matt and sees that he is smiling strangely and becomes concerned. While waiting to be attended to, Matt starts laughing. He laughs so hard that he gets the attention of the other patients. He has a very contagious laugh. So the patients and even the nurses and doctors start laughing. Everyone is laughing. After several minutes of laughing out loud, many patients go home. They already feel much better. Finally, the doctor examines the teacher. It turns out that Matt can't stop laughing after seeing what he will be paid for his first paycheck. This unexpected turn of events causes everyone to burst into laughter once more. Let's listen to the story told in the past tense from a third-person point of view. Matt was being taken to the emergency room by his students. They assured the nurse that he was having a seizure. The nurse looked at him and saw that he was smiling strangely and became concerned. While he waited to be attended to, Matt began to laugh out loud and his contagious laughter soon had the other patients and even the nurses and doctors laughing. After several minutes of laughing out loud, many of the patients felt better and were able to go home. When the doctor examined Matt, he discovered that the teacher was laughing because of how little he was getting paid for his first paycheck. This unexpected turn of events caused everyone to burst into laughter once more. Okay, that's the end of this short exercise. Notice that the changes between grammar points are subtle but important. With this method, you don't need to memorize any boring rules. It's better to see the changes in the proper context. And with a story, it is much easier to remember all this. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses to get my premium courses. They are designed for learning by listening. It's the perfect time to start a new course. Okay, 
We have reached the end of this episode. See you soon. Bye bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.